Hello everybody, welcome back to another part of this Fallout 4 walkthrough. So last time we finished off, what all did we do? We uh, followed Dogmeat's trail pretty much all the, way, all, all the way up to the place we know, Fort Hagen. Pretty close to where we did uh, Automaton, Fort Hagen Satellite Array I believe is where we went there. So pretty similar place, but we went through there got rid of, uh, confronted Kellogg, the dude who kidnapped our son, and we find out that the Institute has him. So now we have to find a way into the Institute. <laughs> I guess, uh, Nick gave us a tip of going to Dr. Amari in Good Neighbor? Yeah, Good Neighbor. We're gonna carry on there. Between parts there, I did a little, uh, base building back in Sanctuary, just to get a couple more things done. And, uh, I got the, I love it a couple, Leveled up like twice. What am I? I'm level 30. So I got some. I got to put more points into. Two points into science. Yeah. Two points into science. So I could get some better mods. But I also got the mission for, for All Aboard, which is Nuka World DLC. And Far From Home is the Far Harbor DLC. So y'all let me know. When you want me to do the DLCs. Because I can do them... Like, my original plan was to do them after I finish the main campaign. Because you can... At least in uh, Fallout 4, you can play the DLCs after. After you defeat... Or choose whatever faction you want to go with and finish the main campaign. You can revisit these. So it's really... Player dependent. But for filming... Uh, leave a comment down below whether you want me to film it beforehand... Or after the main, game, main campaign. It's completely up to y'all. So let's continue. We gotta head to Good Neighbor and talk to Dr. Amari. Oh, it's this way. Oh, there's a graveyard. Cannibals. A lot of my case is dead end in Boston Common. I prefer not to join it. Kellogg's pistol's pretty freaking good. I just get hit from? Did Nick just like shoot me? Try to discover any locations on the way. I just want the mongrel meat. I don't want any of this crap. What the heck? Why can't I discover this location? Where you at? Oh, hello. Time to die! Can I just like... Nope, okay. That's not gonna work very well. Let's go back to this side. I don't want to fight all these guys. I just want to discover this freaking location. I guess it's up above or something. Oh yeah, how'd I miss that? Nothing there now. So it must be on top of the. Who's out there? Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, jeez. Come on, Nick. We're gonna leave this place. Just a di distraction. Keep on using stim packs. I want to stock back up on uh, a lot of my healing items, and I have a crap ton of stim packs, so we can do that. Is there a way out of here? This whole area feels like a big dead end. Can I shoot you from here? I think I can get up on that bridge. 
Yeah, what's up? What's up? Find him, God, if I can actually hit a shot. Oh. That's how you die right there. Too much weight on that leg, so you tended to it. <laughs> First of all, place is crazy. They did, they did a good job of setting the atmosphere, but geez, I mean, I think they did too well. This is some subway or something. Oh crap. I'm gonna sprint by these guys. These are super mutants. I've experienced this walking by walking by before at one point where one of those dudes had a freaking fat man. So I'm getting out of here. I'm going further away from them. How did I do this? How did I accomplish this? See this right here. Oh, yeah, this is how I die. Yep. Well, that could be a problem. I don't know when my last save was. I honestly have no clue when my last save is. Oh, I figured. Somehow, like, we're going to redo this because somehow I went further Something away. Else. No, we're going to switch to something else besides Kellogg's pistol. It just does not have the fire rate. Case is dead end. Is not to join Don't underestimate us again. And I got uh, one more point into gun nut. So I got to upgrade my radium rifle finally. gonna keep running really this was all it took because I went the wrong one wrong turn and this is all it took just a waste of time to go die off in nowhere good neighbor just as a stim pack can you use to be revive a fallen human or canine companion during combat the repair kit can be used to repair a damaged robot Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? We're working together, yeah. Really? Well, you're in luck. I got a special offer on some insurance for partners of the great gumshoe here. You better back off. Or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Well, well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now. Really? Okay? You dislike threatening him? Time out. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day... There'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. 
Why'd you have to I guess that's how you get that. stuff done in the breaking my over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Yes. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember. Right. Speaking of the synth uh, field helmet I got from the last part, I upgraded it. I also upgraded the robot armor that I had Nick carry back to Sanctuary for me. But I went for the full vault tech theme. Because you can't paint that Assault Rod helmet. You can't paint, in, uh, paint it vault tech colors. And I've been rocking all the vault tech. So vault tech armor, or combat armor, and the uh, synth field helmet in vault tech paint. With a vault tech uniform, hey. so I'm gonna go see well, what they have here. Hello. I could just steal that. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion, except me. I only kill when I want to. Cleo, let's see what you got. Murder and mayhem at a discount. What you got? That's the first power fist I've seen in this game, I think. You got any unique weapons? That's actually a pretty good unique weapon. I might be back for that. Got any armor? Devastators. Nah, I don't need that. There's another power armor frame. Uh, that's good. I At least I know where to come get one at. I don't need anything here. I do want to, like, see if I can stealth boy the crap out of this. I have a couple stealth boys. Can I just, like, become hidden right here? I hope you're buying. Oh. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons. What's up? Wait, I could hack her and shut her down. I'll be back for it. I can't even carry that at the moment. I'm definitely going to steal that, though. That's uh, 100%. Third rail. The memory den. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Go on ahead, Nick. I'm following. I'm picking up what you're putting down. A little bit of romance there. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Well, I'll take all this. Got a bobblehead. Ooh, Robco fun. Nice. Grognak the Barbarian holotape game. I'll take it. Is there a freaking bobblehead around here or something? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. 
Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. I could go back to Fort Hagen. What's this? Though. This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. This is why Nick is the best. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Yeah, of course they thought of this. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encrypt. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed. Thanks for the huge the optimism there, my guy. Memory lounger. This feels like I'm being locked back in that cryogenic array. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh, guess I'm following the path. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So do you have dates on all the memories? That makes it official, folks. The final vote Remember. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. That cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. 
Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Ah, uh, so he definitely lost his wife and kid. Whatever made me think Sarah that a guy like me should have a daughter. No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Okay. It's gonna that's... be fine. You'll see. Oh, well, hold we up. don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start I almost didn't fresh. even notice that. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For, For a, a while. while. On Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around, looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Is that his pistol? Yeah, I heck yeah. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. This place is kind of sick. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Yep, lost his wife and kid. Sad. I mean, everybody in the Fallout world has a backstory. Every single person either lost family or is on their way to lose family. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. 
I always got paid in the end. One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Drinking away his sorrows? Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Dang. Wherever's this at in our fight? This wasn't there. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Suited me just fine. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, ah there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Oh. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Well, crap. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The vault computers are still working. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. That's good. Big head. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Checking through the logs. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could... I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. I'm gonna replay yeah, backup subject. I'm a for sure, but, uh... Cut it off before the finish, I wanna hear what he still said. Still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Oh. 
Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. Arm looks pretty cool. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Only it's all just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your This son? whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the so, old man's. Good news, I think. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another so there's an, there is an old up. man in charge of the Institute then. <clears throat> Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. 
No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. They have freaking teleporters. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. That's crazy. I mean, it's a good plan for... It's a, it is a good plan for security. There being no entrance or exit except for a teleport teleportation that you control. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. Where's Nick? No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, rad... A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of... I'll, I'll find, find a, a way, way to get through the rads. Don't Good luck. And by the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Cool. Nicky boy. Where you at, old buddy, old pal? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said that. As long as you don't try to shoot me in the back, we're good. Left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Um. What do I want to do here? Do I want to take Nick or go alone? I'm going to head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. I think I'm going to go grab Ada. From Sanctuary. She's just a good robot. And I might be able to give her some upgrades real quick. For some weapons. Since I got a little more higher uh, skill in science. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and go see Ada. And if I need Nick, I can go find him in uh his detective agency. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. 
Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth? A little overweight. Probably drop something here. Road leathers. Ooh, still a little overweight. What else do I got? I got something. I got some junk I can drop. I know I do. Come on, I got something. Boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community. The Institute and their synths. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey. We all know I got my own personal beef with that lard head, but stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now. Who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us. us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good, good neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Oh, the people! For the people! The people. The people. <laughs> that was straight up like indoctrination right there. I've ever seen some. Let's head to Sanctuary. I'm gonna go pick up Ada. I don't know how long the walk through the glowing sea is going to be, but I want a companion that can fight. Oh, getting close to leveling up. Oh, I forgot. I moved uh, the robot and I built an iBot pod to build uh, find resources. Oh, I need a level in blacksmith to make most of this stuff. Dang it. I'll just keep what I have. Yeah. It's always fascinating watching you create. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? Heck yeah. Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I, my onboard hey. Are okay, you don't capacity. got anything. So we're heading down to... The Glowing Sea. Is there Somerville places way down there? Because I also have the rest of the... Echoes of the Past... Which is... Oh, that's just the start of the glowing sea. That's all it's saying. Okay, the closest place I got is probably... Uh, Greater Mass Blood Clinic and just walk down the highway. 
It's probably the best option I got. It's going to be a long walk, though. Maybe I'll make it to the entrance of the Glowing Sea for this part. Tomorrow, uh, next part, we'll make a whole whole episode of it, of doing the Enclave mission and finding Virgil. So I think we'll just head there, maybe discover Somerville Place. Gotta head that way. Already, I already got radiation stuff going on. I'm not even on the... I'm not even close to the highway. The heck is this? Why is it glowing? It's also another thing I forgot. What the heck? I swear I heard voices. That, uh... Alien spaceship that crashed a couple parts ago. I still never even investigated that. I'm gonna do some of these in between parts. There, I'm getting close to the highway there. Oh crap. Well, I'll, I'll discover like Somerville Place and all this stuff for now. Oh no. Run away, Ada. I swear to God, run away. I'm gonna come back for a, one of my power armors, probably my Raider set, because I bought a power armor frame selling a bunch of eight items that I had stocked up. So I put the uh, Raider armor and got that repaired finally. It took forever, but I, outside of filming, I put quite a bit of time into time into getting my settlement up to I mean I, I guess I'll take it am I overweight again I didn't even drop the fat man no wonder I'm overweight hey. didn't what can I do for you I know I completely forgot about something Still heading over this way. We're not gonna follow the road very well. I gotta keep. I'm actually gonna swap over to the kneecapper because I don't want to run across like just some random freaking death claw or super mutant and just get jumped. It's over here. You are something. I don't know what you are, but you are something. That's super mutants for sure. Sidon Reservoir. I'm not going in the water, that's for sure. That is an outpost right there. Oh, Meyer lurks. Let's go wide. This whole place is just. My apologies. I think I've lost them. Run at me now, homie. I don't care about fighting you. I don't have to. But I'm definitely before the next part. I'll fast travel. That's why I want to discover Somerville Place. Oh, shut up, dude. Oh, that's some raider base up there. But I want to discover Somerville Place because I'll definitely uh, go grab a power armor in between parts and come back and we'll go through the flowing sea with power armor. And we're joking about, like, the rads you can get in this area. What the heck is this crap? 
Oh, that looks like super mutants. Those look like meat bags. Oh, it's just a disposal site. <laughs> That's great. Follow up the road here. Back on the highway. I think we're out of rust elbows now, at least. Yeah, there she is. What is, what is this? Might as well discover it while I'm here. Electrical Hobbyists Club. That's a weird place, I guess. Somebody's popping off shots. What's over here? Louise, who's fighting? Oh, that's a rust devil. Is there a sentry bot here? Holy crap. I think that took out everybody. I got free reign to loot at least. Yeah, where's uh, where the dude's body at? I think that just like vanished off into the distance. You're dead. Nah, I don't think I am. Single Tato, why not? Really, only one rust devil over here. Okay. Yeah, see, now I'm getting the Enclave homing beacon. Makes sense. So, we made it to the start of the Glowing Sea. So, the Enclave... I have to listen to the radio beacon, but Virgil's down here. So, let me go ahead and discover a couple more locations here and get the uh, Somerville place. Oh, I'm still technically not at it. I don't want to fight the Enclave just yet. Oh, yeah, this place is bad. One between parts, once I discover... Discover over here. I keep using Vats to see if I can spot an enemy. Edge of the Glowing Sea. So I need to... Where's uh, Somerville Place? I'm going to make a marker there. Before I finish this part, I need to go discover that. There's something over here, too. But between parts, I'm definitely going to go grab a, a power armor suit and uh, stock up on some right away from all the vendors I can find. Because, jeez louise, this is going to be rough. Not even in the glowing sea. And I'm burning up. Robotics Pioneer Park. Oh, that's a Brotherhood Vertibird. Yep, there it is. Crap. This is mutants, isn't it? What? Oh, God. Are you going to come help? Oh, they are coming to help. Well, that helped me, honestly. Dude, 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 dude. Are you joking? 
Oh, this is why you never repair Ada. This is why you just don't do it. When was the last autosave? Jesus Christ. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go straight here first. Bro, never repair Ada. Y'all, I've died like several times after uh, making a lot of progress. The heck is that thing? Oh, crap. Is this crippling you at all? What then? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was a little close. Let me heal up a little bit. Okay, I have to have, uh, I know I've bought a lot of Molotovs. Let's use some of those. He's dead. That was simple. So I want Deathclaw meats. I don't need the rest of those though. I have been wanting one of these. Okay, you're freaking out here. So, if the Brotherhood show back up, I'm not going to repair Ada. Forget that. Here they come. You gonna help me fight? Let me have this one. Oh yeah, you are. Gonna splatter your brain. Oh, they're fighting somebody else. Who the heck are y'all fighting? That freaking... I'm getting real tired of this because that suicider is about to come out of nowhere. Engaging hostile target. And who the freak is the Brotherhood fighting? Because y'all are almost on the ground here. Hey, don't crash. Oh my god. Everything's about to blow up on me. Do I got any loot on you? Just Ada. Freaking Ada. I want loot. Y'all got. Some, some of y'all were shooting at people. Y'all gotta have something here. Oh, whatever. Let's just discover this location, go back to the edge of the glowing sea. I still need to head to Summer Somerville Place.
forget it. The suicider's not coming at me, so I'm just gonna go to the edge of the go and see. I need to head to Somerville Place. Forget Ada, we don't need her. That's why you make saves. I always freaking forget, and then I always lose progress. Oh, that's a glowing bloat fly, isn't it? Yep. Um, I'm gonna try to take you down. I don't know what legendary equipment you have. That was Make not sure worth it. Don't leave useful behind. I swear I still hear the beeping yeah, of uh Time for you to I swear I still hear the beeping of a super mutant suicider. So yeah, we'll definitely do this, explore the glowing sea a little bit. With a power armor and a crap ton of uh right away. But let's head I still didn't still gotta head to Somerville Place. That's a, a faction settlement that I need to play nice with. It's in the glowing sea, but it's not very far in the glowing sea. I just need to keep an eye out for death claws. Keep a very good eye out for death claws. What do you want from... This is where rad scorpions spawn as well, so... Need to be very careful. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Crap. Of course this is on the way to uh, where I want to go. I'll just go wide again. I don't want to go in your vault just yet. Leave me alone. Just want to get Somerville Place. God, I'm more scared of death claws than anything. Thank God I got the kneecapper. Cause... That's a sentry bot right there. I could probably, uh... Once I level up a uh, robotics expert, I could probably hack you and have you follow me through the glowing sea. I know where it is compared to Somerville, at least. Why the freak did y'all make a place in the glowing sea? This was dumb. Okay, well, I discovered this location. We'll, next part, we'll start back in the edge of the glowing sea so we can get Virgil's location. I know he's down here, but I guess it got, wants me to go there. And then we'll do Glowing Sea and the Echoes of the Past. Enclave. Track the Enclave Homing Beacon. So, this is where we're going to end it for now. Make sure to like, subscribe. Leave me any feedback down below. If, uh, if I'm going to miss something, let me know in the comments. Because I'd love to revisit it. There's a lot of stuff to explore. I'm not going to be able to hit everything, obviously. Because, Jesus, the map is insanely huge. But, I'll do my best to explore most of it. Okay. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.